Let's turn our attention to Vedanta. That's been one of the biggest movers in the last one month or so, and the numbers look better than expected. And I'll say that on a four counts. One is you look at the EBITDA number of the key segments, aluminium, oil and gas, as well as palm. They're more or less a beat in comparison to what we are working with, and that's why the absolute EBITDA numbers will look better. Second point is the delever their balance sheet. You know, on a sequential basis, the debt number came down by close to 10%. So that's good. And the cost of uh, aluminium cost as well, you know, that's come down to around $1,700 per ton. And now they're saying that, you know, it could also come, go down further. So that's great news. And finally, going ahead, the management is talking about splitting the business or demerging the business, which will ultimately unlock value. What are brokerages making of this? Novama, they have a buy rating. They've increased their target price big time to around 542 rupees odd. They've increased their EBITDA estimates by around 18 to 23%. Why is that? They're factored in higher commodity prices and lower cost of production, particularly for aluminium. And they also go on to make this point that at current pricing of aluminium, or, you know, on an average, if they're taking around $2,600 per ton, then the EBITDA per ton of the aluminium business can go to $1,000 per ton. As of the past quarter, they reported an EBITDA per ton of $600 per ton. So they're saying the entire increase on LME aluminium will flow through into the EBITDA per ton. So that's why Novama is fairly bullish. City, they have a buy rating. They've increased the target price to 425. And they have mentioned four big reasons. One is less pressure on cash flows in the near term. Commodity prices have been resilient as well. They're talking about the potential sale of the steel asset, which should take place in the first half of this fiscal. And the restructuring will help their cause. CLSA, they as well have increased the target price to 430 rupees. Given the deleveraging plan at uh, VRL, that's Vedanta Resources, they're expecting further dividends to be paid out as well. And they make this point, it's a good play. It has exposure to a whole host of commodities. So that's why CLSA showing the faith. So Vedanta's numbers look good. Valuations are okay. It appears the promoter entity has got their focus right. And that's why, uh, you know, brokerages like it. So